Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale. This is freezing point of water. Freezing point of water in Celsius scale is similarly freezing point of water in Fahrenheit scale is zero degree Celsius or thirty two degree Fahrenheit. Similarly, boiling point of water. For water only okay boiling point of what boiling point of water boiling point of water at standard pressure nothing but one atmospheric pressure is 100 degrees celsius and in fahrenheit it is 212 degree fahrenheit now understand 0 to 100 this temperature difference is equally divided into 100 and each equal to 1 degree Celsius. So there are 100 divisions, 100 divisions between freezing point and boiling point. Whereas in Fahrenheit scale, freezing point to boiling point has 180 divisions. 32 plus 180 is 212 degree Fahrenheit. So freezing point of water and boiling point of water is equally divided into 180 divisions so each division is equal to 1 degree fahrenheit and what is the relation between celsius scale and fahrenheit scale means the equation f minus 32 by 180 equal to c by 100 this is temperature in Fahrenheit scale, temperature in Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale minus 32 divided by 180. In Fahrenheit scale, there are 180 divisions, 180. Celsius scale, there are 100 divisions. So this is the equation used. So this can also be written as temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32 by 180 equal to temperature in celsius by 100 just a change in notation students these two equations are same only change in notation be flexible with notations don't stick on to single notation because you might be referring different study materials notes textbook materials given by some institute or standard books international books so they use different notations if you are flexible with notations then you can go through all the books all the reference books without any confusion a graph of temperature in fahrenheit and temperature in celsius scale temperature in fahrenheit temperature in celsius y axis x axis zero degree celsius hundred degree celsius 0 degree Celsius in Fahrenheit it is 32 so this is 32 for reference let me draw lines if this is 32 degree Fahrenheit 32 degree is freezing point of water and boiling point of water 212 212 degree Fahrenheit So this is how temperature in Celsius and temperature in Fahrenheit varies. 
freezing point of water in celsius 0 degree in fahrenheit 32 boiling point of water in celsius scale 100 degree celsius in fahrenheit 212 so this point is 212 now let us see how to get the equation to go from celsius to fahrenheit and fahrenheit to celsius derivation is not important students please note derivation is not important but let us know how to get the equation let me consider a point on the straight line whose coordinates are celsius scale fahrenheit so c comma f coordinates of this point it is on y axis so 0 comma 32 coordinates of this 100 comma 212 if this is by construction then this difference is then this difference is 180 and this difference is 100 if it is a straight line students you know that slope of a straight line is constant you take slope at any part of straight line it turns out to be constant and slope is given by slope m is given by delta y by delta x also equal to y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 isn't it so this is how we find out slope now slope equal to let me use delta y by delta x this is delta y this is delta y and this is delta x so delta y by delta x is 180 by 100 180 by 100 equal to now let me use this for this slope x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 y1 x2 y2 so first is y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 f minus 32 f minus 32 divided by x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 c minus 0 c minus 0 so rearrange this equation we get the previous equation see c minus 0 is c this is f minus 32 rearrange f minus 32 by 180 equal to c by 100 so this is the equation using slope instead of writing f i can write t f minus 32 by 180 equal to c instead of writing c t c by 100 this equation can also be used just change in notation now let me rearrange try to get the equation consider this or consider this 0 0 2 5 times 2 9 times so there is 9 here there is 5 here c equal to c equal to take this 5 to the other side 5 by 9 5 by 9 into f minus 32 into f minus 32 if temperature is in Fahrenheit to get temperature in Celsius you can use this equation now the other way C by 5 9 let me take 9 to the other side 9 C by 5 9 C by 5 equal to F minus 32 
so this minus 32 to the other side gives plus 32 so f equal to 9c by 5 plus 32 so if temperature in celsius scale is given then to get celsius temperature in fahrenheit we have to use this equation true it is true that nowadays we use google translator google conversion software isn't it if we give fahrenheit to celsius or celsius to fahrenheit we get some table where you have to feed temperature in fahrenheit we get temperature in celsius temperature in celsius we get temperature in fahrenheit that particular unit of software uses this equation